No one's yeah. perfect. It's okay. Um, let's just be as smart as we can. Um, yeah. So yeah, so we want to, we still, organic still matters because we want to show that there's market demand for thoughtfully growing our food, right? And it does have a lower amount of toxins, including a wide range of pesticides, herbicides, and all that fun stuff. Um, and so, so it's about exposure. It's about voting with our dollar. It's about voting local, setting up relationships with your farmers, asking them, how can they do this? It's about going to your local coffee shop and saying, hey, do you offer an, or, or offer an organic blend? And then they'll either look at you blankly or they'll be like, well, you know, it's expensive to certify, you know, organic. So our farmers try to be as clean as possible. And you're like, great, I'd love to know more. It's really important to me. I want to vote with my dollar. I want to see you thrive, but I've got to take care of myself. And you start conversations. Yep. Right. And um, so that's the first couple of things. Also, there's there's supplements that you can take every day. Apple cider vinegar is one of them. I don't recommend it across the board for people with, you know, who can't tolerate fermented foods. Yeah. You need to wait and heal your gut before you use this strategy. But the, um, the acids in apple cider vinegar will actually break down whatever you just got exposed to in glyphosate that day into harmless components that your body can deal with. It's not strong enough to go deep into your tissues and pull the glyphosate out, which is what we really want to do, but it's a great ongoing thing to do. So hide it in your kids, you know, orange juice, hide it in a smoothie, put it in your salad dressings, just get in the habit, you know, have a little shrub, you know, mini mocktail in the afternoon when you really want to reach for a soda or, you know, your glass of wine at the end of the day, there's all these ways to just fold it in. So it's just a part of your life now. 